Captain Quinn here, saving baby birds. Yeah, that's right. Woodpecker, to be exact. Baby woodpeckers. Flickers, to be even more specific. So about a week ago, I was building this chicken coop here, which happens to be uh, crookeder than a witch's nose, but we won't get hung up on that. The chickens don't care. And I noticed this uh, rotten old birch tree, um, and it was a complete safety hazard, so I pushed it over with my muscles and when it hit the ground it exploded uh, right in the center and I heard squawk 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 and I looked and there were seven baby woodpeckers so I felt terrible decided I had to do something you know like they have just as much a right to be here as, as I do so I gathered them all up in my warm embrace put them in a shoe box kept them warm in a dark place and then did a little research, called an animal rescue helpline and found out that I can either feed them a diluted mixture of cat food and plain yogurt every half an hour. Well, that's not going to happen. Or I can drive them the two and a half hours to the closest animal rescue shelter. Well, that's also not going to happen. Or their best chance at survival is to actually put them back in their nest and put that nest back to where it originally was so the parents can find them. You see, birds have a very poor sense of smell, but they have a very, very strong uh, bond between the parents and the offspring, just like every other animal, which is pretty powerful, a bond that can't be broken easily. So I decided to reconstruct their nest, put them back in, hoist them back up to roughly the same spot, and see if the parents would come back. The problem was the nest was the nest was uh, in shatters, about 50 different pieces. But I'm a crafty I'm a crafty man, so I grabbed all the pieces, few screws, hammered the screws into the the old rotten tree, and duct taped uh, around it with this clear duct tape, packing tape I think, and put the little critters back in and tied a rope around the top of the rotten snag and hoisted her back up and waited. Fifteen minutes later, to my delight, one of the parents came back and uh, went right back in the little hole and fed their little, you know, their offspring, the little babies. I've been observing these, these birds for about a week now and is pretty magnificent. About every 10 to 20 minutes, uh, one of the parents, the mom or the dad, come back with food they feed the little the little youngsters and then they clean up the nest they fly out they're busy they're at it all day and it's been very cool getting to uh, watch that pretty exciting um, and and they don't mind having chickens as neighbors and they don't mind uh, me as the spectator so it's, it's been pretty cool and it's been about a week they've feathered up and I check on them every day I go over here to the to, to, to their home and I you know I just I tell them, you know, how you guys doing? And as you can hear, they're quite the little chatterboxes. There's a little hole in here I left so I could, I could peek on them, see how they're doing. They're getting feathers. How you guys doing? When are you uh, planning on leaving the nest? Huh? Huh? About that time, I think. Oh, hi! I'm now, for scientific purposes, so we can get a better understanding of what exactly goes down in a woodpecker's nest, going to stick the pecker cam down inside Woody Woodpecker's hole. No, this is not a colonoscopy. See, woodpeckers, unlike other birds, uh, have their nests inside hollow, rotten trees. exactly sure what their plan is here. I don't know if they're gonna peck their way out of there or climb up and jump. I'm not sure but 
keep you posted on that. But I just thought that, you know, if I can save a baby bird, then so can you. And sometimes, as we are being human and doing human things, we put the lives of animals at risk. And I think that we need to remember that they, uh, they have a right to be here uh, just as much, if not more so, uh, than us. So if we do find ourselves in a position where we have jeopardized the life of another living animal, I think we should do everything we can to save it and protect it. I'm Captain Quinn, and that's how to save a baby bird. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends.